evening again guys I had a couple of shipments arrive today some more figs that I'm going to be potting up I've got some really nice ones in here I've got the Italian 258 which is a, uh, a very famous fig uh, common in the US not very I'd say extremely uncommon in Australia quite an expensive cutting as well we've got some uh, Barbera Branca we've got some Brigada Nero in here we've got some Petite our beak but the thing that I kind of wanted to point out with these cuttings I ordered these are all fairly standard if you have a look at the size and the this is from a couple of different sellers that have sent this through um, I got one called Lebanese green and they sent me these cuttings today and they're just a bit pathetic <laughs> so you can see them falling on the ground here look at the size of these cuttings look at the size of that compared to say the Italian 58 or or any of these they are absolutely minuscule pathetic cuttings so um, when we take fig cuttings and especially if you're going to be selling them on eBay and in defense of this seller I don't think there was meant to be this many cuttings in the box but I would have preferred two good size cuttings rather than six pathetic little uh, cuttings like this like it, it's just it's just a bit much I mean look at the size of that what am I gonna do with that it's gonna <laughs> If you have a look at a, a plastic cup that we root figs in, look at the size of that compared to the cup. There's only going to be a couple of centimetres under the ground. So a bit disappointing from this particular seller, who I won't name, but um, mark it on eBay as Lebanese Green, I believe. Yes, Lebanese Green is the, is the cutting. So if you see it on eBay and you feel like picking some of these, I'd just be a little bit weary that um, they're not to your normal fig cutting it's kind of standard unfortunately but have a look at this cutting that I've taken before this is the uh, Della Signora Hivernica the amount above the ground I have for this cutting is taller than the entire cutting that I have here from this particular seller anyway I'll, I'll pot all these up anyway and I'll maybe uh, get a very quick snippet of these uh, once they're all done but just wanted to kind of show this little bit of disappointment in my night you know guys i might be back with an edit otherwise catch you all in the next one well it's 20 30 40 minutes later and i have all of the new cuttings potted up some to go inside the tent some to go inside the new tent inside the house and that new tent is actually an old tent. I used to use that to raise my cuttings in years prior before getting this really big one. And we've got a lot of figs here, as I said, that I'm really, really interested in. So some really cool varieties in here today. Um, as they start to leaf out over the next couple of weeks, I'll update us all on these ones as well. So quite a shipment here today. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 little pots down there. So yeah, let's see how they all go and let's see if there's a difference between the ones I put in the inside tent compared to the ones that I put in this kind of larger grow tent. See if it makes a difference. Um, the ones in the inside tent, some of them are sitting on heat mats. Obviously the temperature inside the house is a little bit more moderated than inside the uh, kind of shed that we're in at the moment which is kind of obviously it gets a lot colder in winter but it'll be interesting to see how they go so yeah I'll keep you all updated and for the second time tonight I'll catch you in the next one